own bit. Uh, health insurance for our people. We also uh, we've been disbursing to micro businesses, uh, farmers, inputs to farmers. For the workers, we've been paying uh, uh, wage award for them, 25,000 for every worker, 15,000 naira for uh, pensioners. We've done it for close to six months now. And last week, I announced an extension for another six months so that uh, uh, we can have the time to bed the discussion on minimum wage. Well, we know there's more to be done and we will continue to do everything within our power to support our people through these hard times. Uh, this is not the time to play politics. We have real issues that need real solutions. Uh, yesterday, I saw the video and I read in the news where the Senate President made a statement so he said on verified uh, reports uh, show that state governors have received additional 30 billion naira from Federal Inland Revenue Service outside our statutory allocations in the last few months from the federal government to address food security. Please listen to me loud and clear. I can speak for your state. And I can also speak for any of my colleagues, because as the Vice Chairman of Nigerian Governors Forum, I know when things are happening. Uh, if you want to play politics, we'll keep quiet and say, let it slide. But I'm not going to let this slide. First, FIRS cannot give money to any state, it is not possible. All revenue according to our country goes into the Federation account and it is distributed to all tiers of government. The federal government does not give states money. The money in the Federation account belongs to all of us. It is not only to the federal government. So if a Senate president, number three citizen in this country, will say of verified reports, people are looking at us as leaders. This is the period that we're supposed to give confidence to our people. It is not a period to start playing politics or to start looking for scapegoats. We need to engage with our people. If our policies are not working, we need to listen to them and amen. So if the number three citizen says this is an unverified report, why does he need to say it then? Does that give confidence to our people or does it solve the problem of hunger and anger in our lives? Well, let me say it clearly. For your state and for most of my colleagues, there's nothing like 30 billion naira being given for food security to the state. And I stand to be challenged. But for us in Oyo State, uh, Fashalawa Anibe is a federal road from this is saying to Oyo through Fashala. We fix this in Oyo State. I have it in black and white where the federal government under uh, the uh, former minister, former governor of Lagos, they said, we will not refund to our your state. And I said, look, I don't care. This is a road that has economic implications for our your state. And we will go ahead and fix it. And if we go there, the people climb the road, they are our own people here in our your state. The town hall one When I was campaigning, we saw the ceiling was uh, was almost falling on us, and we promised we will fix it. It has been fixed, and it is there. We don't need the federal government to tell us what we need to do for our people. 
So let me make it clear. Yeah, that the federal government, yes, they promised the state five billion. Out of that five billion, they only paid two billion naira. And they are even asking that those that two billion should be refunded right now. We cooperated with the federal government. It is the responsibility of the federal government to manage the fiscal situation in Nigeria. We've left uh, a lot of money that should be shared, and we said keep it, so that we can manage uh, uh, the inflationary trend in the, uh, in the country. So we have been transparent about everything we're doing here in Oyo State, and this is the time for us to pull together as a nation and solve the problems we are facing. It is not a time for blame games and propaganda. Hunger, anger, they are real. And as leaders, we must address it. So our administration will continue to implement policies and projects that will take our people out of poverty into prosperity. We've done uh, uh, our own bit. Uh, health insurance for our people we also uh, we've di been disbursing to micro businesses uh, farmers inputs to farmers for the workers we've been paying uh, uh, wage award for them 25,000 for every worker 15,000 naira for uh, pensioners we've done it for close to six months now and last week i announced an extension for another six months so that uh, uh, we can have the time to bed the discussion on minimum wage. Well, we know there is more to be done and we will continue to do everything within our power to support our people through these hard times. Uh, this is not the time to play politics. We have real issues that need real solutions. Uh, yesterday, I saw the video and I read in the news where the Senate President made a statement. So he said on verified uh, reports, uh, showed that state governors have received additional 30 billion naira from Federal Inland Revenue Service outside our statutory allocations in the last few months from the federal government to address food security. Please, listen to me 